this team is going to be forced to be reckoned with. You just saw Sarah Franklin on the court as well after a health scare got the best case scenario kind of diagnosis. And she, after missing a couple of months, had surgery due to blood clots back on the court for the Wisconsin Badgers. Coming off an all Big Ten season, her first in Madison. Here in Minneapolis, we are finally underway. The 2023 season is here, and the first touch is going to go to the freshman in Stowers. For Wisconsin, up the middle is Carter Boo, one of the new additions to this squad inside the Big Ten, along with Temi Thomas Ilara. And Robinson goes right into the. And now Wisconsin scoop her up. Described by Coach Sheffield as a force of nature because that's what she's capable of. To hit that ball, Carter Booth just so dynamic up front. Tied up at one here in the first set. And here, unleashing the jump serve once again is Thomas Ilara. All Big 12 second team last year, looking to build off all of that. And just her sophomore season. Good adjustment by Franklin, but that is turned back. Orgel in the passing roll, and Stowers can't get there. Back to serve is Carter Booth. One of the best middles, not just in the Big Ten, but in the country last year. Going off speed and picked up by Robinson. Placed over. And a point scored for Baylor. That's Stour showing off the arm. Yes, that was us last year for this Bears team that has won 20 straight games, seven straight years, but no seniors on this team for the first time in his tenure, the first time since 2004, and Sheffield said, that was us even last year after we said goodbye to Recky, to Hilly, to Barnes, to Loberg. And we had to find our way, just like this Baylor team was trying to do. Baylor doing the exact same thing, trying to find the leadership on the court. But he also wants them to take more risks than they probably normally would with their inexperience. Free ball here for the Bears. Carlson looks to Ben Bebe. Second in the Big Ten in assists per set last year as a freshman. Franklin getting another look. She takes some heat off. Carlson. And a vicious strike by Robinson. Still somehow seems to fly under the radar because of how much talent she's surrounded by and has been throughout her Badger career. Now senior. Carlson back set and that's leading her so she has that full arm swing. And the slide seems like a good way to get that kind of middle going when they're still working on having a dynamic kind of swing in offense too. Up the middle, Smrek with power. Pulling out the win in five. Off the tape and read well by Sophia King. The pancake keeps it alive. Great effort and Smrek makes that unreturnable. Sarah Franklin at the service line. That's the Mattis system. Hamill chases it down. Thomas Ilara taking some heat off. And then off the tape, point Wisconsin. Top returner in kills for this Baylor squad. And that too long, point to Baylor. Ending a 3-0 run by the Badgers. You're starting your career pretty well, and that's what she did last year with freshman accolades in the Big 12. Five of them tying her record. Persenio places it over. Camel looking for Franklin. And a point to Wisconsin. They're going to move that back row tack around. Orzol, too long there. Last year named the Bears. Big jump serve, but far too long there. And that will even things up here in the first set. That ball's going so high and loopy, it's barely worth it. Ashburn, the server. And off the hands of Franklin. There was a lot of heat there. They go to Thomas Ilara and then to Booth up the middle. Wisconsin scoring quickly when they're going up the middle. Thomas Ayalara unleashing that jump serve. It is something to watch, and it results in a free ball and a point. Back-to-back seasons of 1,200 attempts. That time a little bit too long, as she's still, I think, reining in and getting back into it. But it takes a lot of pressure off her as well from an offensive standpoint. But even server receives, she can put a little more focus on that, because she doesn't have to hit every single ball. Booth off 
the tape. Carter Booth at the service line, a place where she has served many times. That time into the nets. Force, top 10 in the NCAA, 1.5 blocks per set, and fifth in the Big Ten in hitting percentage. Franklin has that turned back, but goes off the block. Point, Wisconsin. Yeah, for, for Gould Jay as well, I mean, coming in for Tammy Thomas, Ilara, they might run out of subs pretty quickly, but they're gonna use that as much as they can until they get a little bit close to that 15 line. Carlson and finding space. Could that be a different angle? Of course, Yulia has been in serve receive before. She knows what it's like to have heat coming right at her. But so far, it looks pretty solid from there end. Just a few too many mistakes on there. Ibin Bay sets up for Franklin. Taylor keeps it alive. McGee goes off the hands. Two kills on four attempts. Ibin Bay back at the service line. Picked up well by Guchtekin. They go to Franklin once more. She's beginning getting a heavy load to start. That's been working well for Wisconsin. constraints we now move ahead in the action Devin Robinson you could have the middles showing up as well just an embarrassment of riches for this team that's going to keep spreading out that offense check off the tape great effort again by Gooch to Kim Baylor out of system in point Wisconsin they have been able to make the Bears scramble on multiple occasions. Yeah, Wisconsin's doing a great job of really controlling that chaos. If it's chaotic on their side, they just put an easy free ball over in a good spot, but it causes chaos on Baylor's side. Baylor hasn't been able to handle that chaos as well as Wisconsin has. Still just within two, they have been sticking with the number two team in the country. They go to the freshman and wow! Very difficult in pass to attack because you have to focus on so many things. You have to pass first, then you have to have a solid approach into that swing as well. That was the Big Ten preseason co-freshman of the year, the top-ranked player in Texas. It's a lot of talent there to separate yourself from. High expectations for this player, and Coach Ryan McGuire said she's a national championship caliber player. She's a national team level player if she really gets going. Coach McGuire says she can pass and dig at a high level that time, though. Shanks it. It will be point Wisconsin. With freshman outside, you'll often see servers really targeting them just to see what they can do. Can they handle the passing load? If not, they're going to continue to put the ball on them. They do it one more time. A little bit low for Bimbibe. Smrek has that turn back. Joust step in next. He's a junior college All-American at Missouri State West Plains. That's quite a jump to the number 15 team in the country. Thomas Ilara has that just go off the net. And that point goes to Wisconsin. Baylor clipping the net on that one, trying to make the play out of it. It becomes difficult when that ball's coming right down on the net because you have to get it out, but you can't touch it. Ashburn back to serve. Last year, 32 aces for the squad. Carlson looking for the freshman Stowers. A lot of heat behind that. Wisconsin handles it. And on the other side, the heat off the arm from Thomas Ilar. Everything in that play for Wisconsin was perfect. Julia Orgel stepped so far back down the line to dig this play. And then Izzy Ashburn stepping in and giving Tammy Thomas Ilar the set that she wants, even with her platform. And Thomas Ilar just unloading to that cross court. That is executing so many different facets to perfection as McGee able to keep it in with a big swing. Oregon transfer, a fantastic middle blocker. Ashburn looking cross court to Thomas Ilara. It goes off the hand. So she could use those fingertips to her advantage and go off that. Thomas Ilara. Check the lefty. Gets it through. Top 10 matchup right after this. You get to see the Big Ten Player of the Year from last year. I think this Minnesota team really needs her leadership this season with the coaching change that they had. 
Costa keeps it alive. The freshman sours over the net. Franklin changes the pace. And the solo block by Robinson read perfectly. Baylor Bears, their opponent for tomorrow. Won't be presumptuous, but this is the kind of talent she is into the National Player of the Year conversation. She absolutely is in that conversation, at least for preseason as a... Hamill, the server. Stowers! This team right now, everyone's chasing them. They have all the pieces to do it in the talent. Minnesota picked number three. Expectations sky high for that program, too. And up the middle, Bibinte has had a really efficient day. That her fifth kill. That one just slightly going out of bounds, but they're finding her so often in the middle, trying to establish that to open things up for their pins, and for the most part, doing a great job finding the court. They're going to their middle in her very first Power Five match, and it happens to be against the number two team in the country. Check, unloads, and Rojo right there. Franklin kept alive by the Bears. Stowers splits the blockers. He goes right through the hands. It takes a certain amount of fearlessness, no matter what confidence you have as a number one ranked player. She's looked like she's ready to go. You know, looking at Wisconsin in the height they bring, the number two next to their name. She's not phased at all. The Binbe unloads there. Thomas Ilara is able to find some space. Easy. Let me tell you, it's not, and they, they make it look it. <laughs> Stowers trying to clean things up. Stopped by Bibinbe, read well. Stowers once more to Orgel. Thomas Ilara. Five kills in this set for Thomas Ilara. So well, zero errors. 7-14 in her opening game. Carlson looks to the freshman, Stowers. She's able to find some space. Great answer from Baylor, nailing that pass right away. That's the most important thing coming out of a timeout. You want to nail that pass and allow your offense to run smooth. And just so fluid on this ball. Stowers stepping in. Wasn't exactly perfect technique, but it doesn't matter. She got the ball there. Brought the arms up just a little bit, got it to her setter. Looking so smooth and comfortable in that pass to attack. And another whistle will give the point to Baylor. Serving all out. Reception air by Orzol on that last play. Out of system is the Badgers. Bibimbe keeps it alive. McGee has that turn back by Wisconsin. And McGee slices it across court. It's hard to even see the space that she was able to find. Placing it over is Franklin switching things up. Stowers from the back row is out. So Wisconsin is one thing when things are going well and you're building up your teammates, but something else when you are in tough moments like this as Wisconsin picks up another point to lead by 10. This is another thing that Ryan McGuire really wanted to see from his team was how can they respond when they're getting punched? How are they going to respond out of it? Are they going to keep swinging? Are they going to back down? He's learning a lot about his team right now, and that's what he wanted to do and see from them playing one of these. Victoria Davis entering the game for the Bears. Row against Stowers at the hang in the air and then gets the recovery. McGee has that tap back, and Wisconsin will have set points. Ashburn gets the ace, and the second set goes to Wisconsin, a 2-0 lead. Between her and outside Eva Hudson, it's going to be fun to watch. And how that's going to affect last year's Big Ten Freshman of the Year when she doesn't have all that attention on her. Too long, and Wisconsin starts out set number three, striking first. Oh, 
overpass by the Bears. Wisconsin can't take advantage right there. Off the arm of Frank. Five kills on 11 swings for Czech. Preseason all big 12, and it feels intimidating watching it from the sidelines, let alone it coming right at you that time. She leaves it too short, though, into the net. But it's hugely valuable as Guchtekin comes in for Thomas Ilara. Back set for check. An incredibly difficult block to stare down on the other side of the net as Proof also goes into the net. That was the thing he said definitively that is going to separate us, is the physicality at the net as the Bears. Wisconsin having to know that this is a desperate team, not wanting to start off the season. Swept and back-to-back -back points. Baylor goes up by two off the ace. Here's Stowers again, just playing fearlessly, this time from behind the service line. She goes to Orzol. Franklin unloads, but too long. If they want to keep this match alive. Perfect pass by Guchtekin, and that's where you get the finish of this season. Two-time first-team All-Big Ten looking to do it again. Six kills. Balanced offense for Baylor. Franklin takes some heat off and reacts nicely. Ben Bay has it turned back. it down. Wisconsin off a 6-1 to one run and getting Wisconsin out of system and it'll be a point for the Bears. Persenio at the service line going cross court to Franklin deflected and point to the Badgers and that starts this response. Thomas Ilara checking back in for Guchtekin. Back set for Bibinbe, and that is too long. Well, Wisconsin has always been formidable, but you see the experience they have compared to Baylor for this 2023 season. Baylor without any seniors, and Wisconsin a very senior-heavy team between fifth years and true seniors. Just a veteran program with that experience that they're going to use to their advantage. Kelly Sheffield talks about one year ago, they were the inexperienced team, but now one more year under their belt, and they added a fifth-year player like Tammy thomas Ilara even continues to bring more experience to this already experienced squad. All four of these coaches say the Big Ten, Big 12 challenge is a measuring stick. It's going to tell you how close you are or how much you still need to work. And that is extremely valuable for all of these teams. Meanwhile, Wisconsin's block working pretty well. Wisconsin's block just an absolute exclamation point tonight. And Anna Smrek really leading that charge with the height that she brings and the athleticism as well. In her volleyball IQ, she knows when to be, when to go up. Does a really great job up front. Too strong. Baylor trying to say it was touched, and it was. Point to the Bears. So Elise McGee will be back to serve again. Leading the Bears with eight kills. Does have six airs, though, hitting 095. They go to Franklin. And a point to the Bears. Baylor just coming out with a completely different energy here in set three, doing a great job from the service line, putting in really tough serves, forcing Wisconsin out of system, and doing a great job putting the ball down as well. Baylor has looked composed and trying to come back in this match. McGee, though, too strong again. Your stretch of dominance back in the early 2000s. That is the conversation this program is in right now as Wisconsin gets another. Serve once more. That time too long. I'm thinking back, Emily, to last year between these two teams, it went five sets 
Coach McGuire said we grew up a lot last night. And I wonder if we might see something happen here too, if they can continue this momentum here at set number three and trying to avoid a sweep. Thomas Ilara, back-to-back -back attempts. David Swift. Robinson terminates with force. Good finish by Devin Robinson up front. Baylor had that chance with Tori Davis coming in off of that free ball. A great decision by Carlson to run her middle in that situation, but just missed a little bit. And Wisconsin's going to make you pay if you give him a free ball like that. Wisconsin within three. DaCosta right there for the pass. Franklin goes by hands. Good effort by Ashburn, and then Robinson keeps it alive. A free ball, though, for the Bears. And making the Badgers pay is Davis. There's that connection from last time. Just fine-tuning it a little bit more. Conversation between middle and setter happened after that play. This one, not a miss at all. A great connection and great finish back to zone one from Tori Davis. Coach McGuire said it is Davis, a freshman from California who has the highest ceiling on the team. You're playing late. Franklin demolishes that ball. Franklin doing such a great job in these overload situations. You have a middle coming in as well. She knows she's going to be one on one. Easy finish right through that seam. Carter Booth getting Baylor out of system. Stowers goes high off the block. Carter Booth again setting. Saw her do that earlier. Set number two. Off the middle, the denial by Crawford. Defense turning into Badger offense. Incredible ups on both sides, but Wisconsin, this play, the diving save. Temi Thomas Ilara takes it. And Caroline Crawford puts that one down off of an incredible save from Izzy Ashburn up front of the set. Even if they're scrambling, Wisconsin has looked in control. Great communication, except that time, though, that just gets past Carter Hoop. A lot of really exciting games on their opening weekend as well, and throughout the season, catching big Big Ten volleyball matches. I mean, the multi-view is really the game changer, man. If you're an avid volleyball fan, you put many screens up, you can watch it all at one time. We're coming up. Later tonight here at the Turi Pavilion, it will be Minnesota against TCU in this Big Ten, Big 12 challenge. Team receiving votes. Play at the Nets. And it is McGee again unleashing a big swing from the back row. It's Thomas Ilara. Sent right back by Crawford. And down the line, a point to Baylor. Possible history being made next week in Lincoln. Nebraska playing Nebraska Omaha in Memorial Stadium, where their football team normally plays. Capacity right now at 91,000 people. An outdoor volleyball game being played this Wednesday. You gotta tune in, Big Ten Network, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's gonna be so exciting, and history will be made. They're going to threaten not just the North American all-time record. You're looking at that 99 Women's World Cup team at the Rose Bowl, but a UEFA matchup. They could even better. Definitely so excited for that one. Last year, the most watched volleyball season on, in Big Ten Network history. Wisconsin, Nebraska fetching 587,000 viewers for another record. And who wouldn't want to watch players like Devin Robinson just light it up?
Wisconsin's got ground to make up right now. They want to go home early tonight. They got another one tomorrow against TCU. So the sooner they finish up, the happier they are. Where Baylor, on the other hand, they want to play as long of a night as possible right now. Wisconsin calling that previous timeout, seeing themselves in this deficit. Sent right back on the attempt by McGee. Stowers will get her team a point. Wisconsin having a more lengthy conversation. Libero, Yulia Orgel really getting into the team during that timeout, saying, hey, we got we to gotta pull together here. Trying to talk some sense into her team, even though they were down seven, still are down seven, they're trying to make up ground and not back down. And Orgel, you see the leadership that she has there, the former Big Ten Freshman of the Year, looking so natural, wearing the jersey for the first time and using her voice as well. They're really becoming a great leader for this team that has so many good natural leaders on it. We talked about the experience that they have with seniors and fifth years, but Orzel, just a junior right now, really using her voice. It'll be Sarah Franklin back to serve. Coach Sheffield still talking with setter MJ Hamill. Placed right over, picked up by Shrek. Good effort by McGee with the denial. And with the whistle, point to Baylor. And they are inching ever closer to set point. And Smrek, that ball just coming out of her hands a little bit funky. Just try to make that good set. She'll step in from time to time to try to make those sets. But now Baylor with an impressive seven point lead, trying to continue that, hoping for a set four. Well, what, since this is the Big Ten, Big 12 challenge, Emily, we're also looking at what's happening in that conference as well. And interesting to see BYU beating Pittsburgh in four. BYU was picked second in the conference, but their very first season here in the Big 12. A lot of questions coming in for BYU. Can they handle this Power 5 load? And are you showing taking a down a team like Pitt? who made the national semifinals last season. Incredible for that team, picked to finish second in the Big 12 this season. The team was picked number three and number four in the Big 12 here in Minneapolis this weekend. A blast from the back row by Franklin. Getting Baylor out of sorts, but they will pick up the points. Baylor doing such a better job in these broken play scenarios, turning the ball and turning that defense into offense. It's been so important. They're making impressive adjustments. And even when it might get a little bit chaotic, they're slowing it down and just keeping the ball in play. It's a nine to two run for the Bears. They've looked strong off the slide. It is Crawford, point Wisconsin. Crawford barely able to find those fingertips on that slide. That was the play that Wisconsin needed to try to get something going, especially with a middle blocker trying to pull him away as those blockers are camping on the outsides. Really smart from the setter. Carlson, the quick hitter, sent back on the attempt by McGee. Excellent blocking continues for the Badgers. Demi thomas Ilar is stepping in. Incredible block up front, making great adjustments on that right side blocker. Getting those hands turned in and wrapping them around against her hitter. You see a big strong move, good swing block, hands up right in time to seal away that line. Trying to go up the middle and into the net to be Binbe. Back-to-back points for Wisconsin. Brings them within six. This would have to be quite the run to finish this third set. They're building energy on their side. Awkward set for Czech. Thomas Ilara right at Czech. And another point for the Badgers. That's a veteran swing from Tammy Thomas Ilara. Not a lot of players are able to make this ball look as easy as she does. Even off the net, she can still slice it and turn that thumb down for a nasty cross court cut shot. Four straight for the Badgers knocking on the door here in the third. You said it, Emily, they want to end their night early before taking on TCU tomorrow in this building. Off speed, great reaction by Hamill and the finish. 
finish by Sprint. All of a sudden, Wisconsin's got a lot of momentum right now after one point being down 23 to 14. Now in a five point run, this team's got the juice. The Bears are scared. and they go up the middle and an absolute blast from Check. Great decision from Baylor to go with that two ball and move Allie Check around, who's normally on that opposite slide, but they moved her into the middle of the court. All hitters in front. Temi thomas Ilar not recognizing she has no hitter in her zone. Set point for the Bears. thomas Ilara. Gets the hands. Check once more. Can't get it through. And Wisconsin staying alive in set number three. Wisconsin really with a late push here in set three. Sending Izzy Ashburn, their best server, back on the service line to try to claw their way out of this deficit. And when you are someone who is as accomplished as she is at the service line, you want these moments. Yes, it's the first match of the season. It is a regular season match. But being able to come through for your team in a big moment. Stowers not there for Wisconsin. And Baylor extends this match with a 25 to 20 third set win. just highlighted starting things off in set number four here in Minneapolis. Cross court pass and finding the gap is Thomas Ilar. Wisconsin's heavy hitter right away. They give her the ball. A great pass situation goes to their outsides. Thomas Ilara, great put down. Second on the Badgers with seven kills on 15 swings and still no airs. She is at the service line. That's in. An ace. The second today for the grad transfer. Thomas Ilara putting so much heat from that back line and really driving these serves back, dropping them right on that end line. Baylor has to make an adjustment in service to even take a step back. Otherwise, that's going to keep happening. You pointed that out, Emily, that they were leaving a good amount of space on that back line. This time, though, she goes into the net. Normally with top spin serves, they're always going to land a little bit behind float serves for the most part. Now, if you're a passer, you want to try to play those forward rather than having to step back because there's not as much time when it's coming that fast. The transfer from junior college, Manuela Bibinbe back to serve. Ashburn, quick hitter, and the denial by the freshman Stowers. Her teammates mobbing her. Stowers looking like a veteran on that play. This is so difficult because she still has two hitters in her zone. She has to pay attention to Devin Robinson on the right side, but she makes a risk, steps in on that back one, and it paid off. That one's going on the highlight reel, blocking the six foot seven Carter Booth. But Wisconsin gets the point right back. Stowers and her teammates absolutely fired up on that block. You got it. When you're a freshman blocking someone that big, it's got to feel good. Again, with the fearlessness she's playing with is Booth. With the surface air, ties it up at three. There was a lot of hype expectations around Stowers coming into this season. The Big 12 preseason co-freshman of the year. She's igniting this team. A couple of service errors back to back gives Wisconsin the early lead back. What Baylor did so well last game was really from the jump. They just absolutely were incredible and locked in and they really made strides, not allowing Wisconsin to score points early on and really stretching that lead, not allowing Wisconsin in the game from the jump. They took the lead from the outset. And even though Wisconsin did threaten, Stowers is going to see to it that this game continues. Avery Carlson just showing how dynamic she is and athletic as a setter. On the move, still giving Stowers that tempo on the outside. 
He's truly that six rotation player. We were talking to Coach McGuire about that, how you don't always find that now as Baylor sends it back and gets the point off the block. Tori Davis doing such a great job dropping that left hand inside the seam with her right side blocker all the way out. She knows she's got that seam to take care of, but she still has to turn that hand back in inside if the ball comes there. Two freshmen making plays for the Bears and Davis and Stowers slipped over perfectly is Smrek. When Anna Smrek tips, it's almost just as hard as one of her swings because she puts so much power behind it. It's like a, it's a power tip coming at you, but it's always legal. It's really tough to defend. She just looks so natural. Exactly what she wanted to do, decisive and execute. Up the middle, Stowers, an absolute cannon is picked up by Wisconsin. And Thomas Ilara tools it off the hands for the point. Thomas Ilara using her power to go through that block. Even with it well formed right in front of her, this defense allows this transition play. Ball coming from the other side of the court, just swings as hard as she can right out the hands. Credit to Sarah Franklin on that dig. It's a lot of firepower with Stowers. The game. Hamill cross court serve. Good effort by Stowers to keep it alive. And the game out of herself, that's too long. Stowers, though, with an incredible up in the back row. Outside, just not enough to keep that in play. But I love the defensive effort back there from a freshman in such a good spot. Hey, she's been flying around back here. McGuire said that she's someone who digs and passes like a defensive specialist. McGee wants it back, gets it back. Tipped over by Franklin, flying in is Brisenio. And going off speed, that was 25 to 14. It seemed like Wisconsin was having its way. They've stormed back. Thomas Ilara, too long. How that happens in a split second. Very first game, wearing the libero jersey, impacting this game in so many ways. Off the tape, and there she reads it well. Hamill looking for Smrek. The overdig. Hey, kill is a kill. <laughs> Carlson is the server for. Check. Out of bounds. Double. So you're going to see those plays happen a lot more often. Where you might think they're going to be a double call, but they're going to let them go as long as they stay on your side. He will keep serving for Baylor. Ten kills today, second on her team. A couple of aces as well. It was an explosive serve by McGee, and a quick flip over by Booth catches the Bears off guard. In the beginning of this game, Izzy Ashburn was finding Booth at any chance possible. They went away from her a bit over the last two sets, but here back in set four, finding her even 10 feet off the net. That is a leap. Beautiful pass. Ashburn looking for Robinson. Then the middle sets up check. Franklin takes some heat off there. Out of system for Baylor. A five-point lead here in set number four. A service air by Thomas Ilara. This Baylor team is battling against the number two team in the country, Wisconsin, responding from set three. Two-time All-American. And a service air too long. It's keeping Baylor within reach. server. Franklin. Stowers finds the floor. What effort by Ashburn. Stowers
scores one more time. That's a lot of cross court and daylight for her to head. Her court vision has been exemplary as well. Wisconsin starting out of system. Franklin goes to the freshman. Tapped right back by Crawford. It's in the preseason poll, that has made a huge jump. But of course, the first match under Keegan Cook, a significant one to see here for a story program. Yeah, this will be a question of can Keegan Cook continue the expectation that has been set for this Minnesota team. He's coming from a storied Washington program where he led his team to four Pac-12 titles in eight years in a final four back in the spring of 2021. But can he do it here at Minnesota when that's the expectation? Up the middle, sent back, point to Wisconsin. That block has been so cohesive. That time, Smrek and Crawford on the play. Six for the Bears. MJ Hamill, a fantastic server as well. Back row, it is checked. Smrek with the hammer. Smrek just going up and over those blockers, which is something that is not too uncommon when you're standing at 6'9", but doing a great job even at a system. That timing so perfect, the step close and the swing follow through. Point to Wisconsin. 19 to 11 is their lead, and it feels like this is a team that is marching toward that set. Point. Hamill back to serve, one of the 6 2 setters. Up the middle, it is Davis. And this is the second season that Sheffield has been going with the 6 2, and he says this is what works for us. There are setters, there are leaders, there are most experienced players, uh, all of that. Uh, one of the unique things, I, I think it's really, really special with both of them is that they've embraced this. I, they work together really, really well. Uh, they uh, empower each other. Uh, I don't see one trying to sabotage the other or, or upend. And both of these, believe me, are big time competitors. Kelly Sheffield has also talked a lot about, yes, they've really bought into this, but normally we're so wired to think as volleyball players, fans, broadcasters, who is that starting setter? But he says, this is just the system that really works best for us. And when we have two setters that are so bought in and the offensive talent that we have, we have to run the system. Especially this program coming off of five years of having one of the greats in Sydney Hilly. These were players that bided their time and turn themselves into starters because of their selflessness. But it does create some complications, Emily. I wanted to ask you about with the transition for Yulia. Could they potentially use her as a defensive specialist so you get that back row attack? And does the 6-2 affect how that rotation and evolution looks for this team? It's an interesting point because you could have Yulia Orgel coming in where you have Golje Guchtikin going in for Temi thomas Ilara, so you still have that back row attack. Because as a libero, Yulia Orgel or any libero, you're not able to hit a down ball. So if you have Golje at that libero position and Orgel as a DS, you could still have that back row attack in. However, you still don't know how you're going to do with subs. As we saw late in sets, Guchikin doesn't come in for Temi anymore because they're running out of subs, running that 6-2, because you're burning through subs really quickly. Wisconsin leading by seven now, hoping to put Baylor away and start off the season with a top 15 victory. They led the nation last year with 12 ranked wins. And hoping to pick up right where they left off. But McGee, who has been a late set spark multiple times, comes up big again there. Baylor's not quitting. They might be down six points in this game, but they're still taking those big swings, still taking risks from the service line and trying to claw their way back in this game to hopefully push a fifth set in their eyes. Carlson back to serve. Had 30 aces last year, so a player that they do want at the line. Thomas Ilara. 
that will give the point to Wisconsin off of that violation. As you're trying to claw your way back in games, you can't have those errors going into the net as Baylor just did. You have to play as clean as possible if you want to get your way back to tie up this ball game. No part of your body can touch that net, except your hair. Your hair is actually allowed to touch that. Thomas Ilara, five kills in this set alone. Looking up the middle, Stowers goes off speed. Thomas Ilara, the roll shot is picked up by Czech. Free ball for Wisconsin. Another extended rally, and it ends with a point to the Bears. Alicia Andrew coming up big for her team in the middle. As these rallies extend, you often don't see the middles get set as much. So when they do, it's because they're working hard to be up and available. They want that swing in the kill. Baylor still within striking distance, but Wisconsin in the driver's seat here at Maturi Pavilion. McGee back to serve. Passed well by Thomas Ilara. And then she gets up for the point. As Check. Robinson with a whole lot of heat there. Stowers off the tape, but read well by Temi. Check once more. Ashburn looking up the middle, and Booth puts it away. Wisconsin now within one of taking down number 15, Baylor. Making sure to get those middles involved, doing it in their rival's gym. Set points for the Badgers. Good amount of red in this building. Fans making the trip or living here in the Twin Cities, hoping to see a ranked victory. Stowers says not just yet. Played in eight matches last season. Ashburn looking to Robinson. Lynch gives up the free ball and whips it down. And this is taken by the Badgers. 1-0, and they get a ranked victory to start things out their eighth straight opening match win.